Hello YouTube. Today we are going to build a keyboard interaction in Figma using Figma variables and few interactions. I have already created the mockup of the designs in Figma. The previous video in my channel will take you step by step of how to create the UI using auto layout. Okay, let's start by creating the required variables. First, we are going to create a string variable to store the phone number. Let the initial value be empty. You can just put uh, either press space bar or you can just you know leave it blank. Next, we'll create a number variable to store the number of digits in the phone number. Followed by another string variable to store the value of the keypad. You will get a better idea about why these variables are created once you start adding the interaction. We have to create a new text layer to print the value of the phone number when a user start typing. That is done. Now let's link this to the phone number variable we just created earlier. Now we can start adding the interaction. We will add the interaction to the master component. And let's start with the on tap interaction. On tap, we have to set the variable called phone number to phone number plus key. So the value of key we didn't define yet. So for that, let's define the value of key. For that, let's add a set variable action to set the value of key to one. Let's just move it to the top. Initially, the phone number is empty. So when a user taps on number one, one will be appended to the end of the string. Let's see it in action. Yeah, so it's working. But you can see that I'm able to keep entering the numbers. So we have to limit the number of digits to nine. For that, we can modify the interaction to add a conditional. Once we add this, the phone number up to 9 digits only will be added. We have to increment the number of digits variable by 1. So what will happen is, for each tap on number, the number of digits will be incremented from 0 till 9. Let's check this out. Mm, I think it's working. We have to now hide the placeholder when a user ta start typing. For that let's define a boolean variable called show placeholder and initially it will be true now we can link the show placeholder to the layer visible property of the text layer now we will update the interaction to hide the placeholder it's just setting the value to false Yeah, this should work. Now we can add the interaction for deleting. For now, we will just delete the entire phone number when user taps on backspace. If we have to implement backspace, it will be more complex. I can show you how to do it in a different video. You can comment if you need the tutorial for that. When a user taps on delete, let's set the value of phone number to empty, show the placeholder text and set number of digits to zero. Let's try it out. Yes, it, it's working. We are almost there. Now, only thing we have to do is to change the numbers. 
from one to the corresponding key for that we'll have to go to each instance and change value of the variable key for number one key will be one for number two key will be two for number three key will be three and so on you got the idea right let's try it out yes it's working and if you want to change the length of the phone number from 9 to 10 you can change I live in Ireland and phone numbers here are 9 digit when used with the country code I will show you how to update the length of the phone number Yep, here you go. That's all. If you have any questions or suggestions, please drop a comment. If you find the video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.